leaders at Fukushima Daiichi are considering new ways to make progress in decommissioning the plant. They're thinking of inspecting and repairing three reactor containment vessels using an underwater robot. The engineers need to repair the reactor containment vessels before they can take out the nuclear fuel. Officials from Tokyo Electric and the robot manufacturer say the robot would work in underground areas of the reactor buildings. Those areas are flooded with radioactive water. The engineers are also thinking of inspecting the insides of the containment vessels using a camera on a 10-meter long rod. The official roadmap for decommissioning the reactor says Tokyo Electric should start removing the nuclear fuel within 10 years. A Japanese government panel is investigating the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. It's hearing from foreign nuclear experts before compiling its final report. The foreign experts include the head of the French Safety Authority and a former chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Most said nuclear plant operators are primarily responsible for dealing with accidents. They said the roles of Tokyo Electric and the government had not been clearly defined after the accident in Fukushima. The foreign experts also said the government should have admitted that it didn't have certain facts about the situation at the plant. The government panel is due to issue its final report on the nuclear accident by late July. The family of a man who died while working on the cleanup at Fukushima Daiichi is in line for compensation. Japanese authorities have acknowledged that the man died of overwork. A 60-year-old plumber died after working on pipes at a nuclear processing facility. Japanese labor officials found that he had to work through the night in a protective suit and mask. We won. Isn't that good news? The man worked for a construction company subcontracted to Toshiba. Officials at Toshiba have declined to comment.